Now, with the downforce comes G-force. As the drivers are going round those corners at such high speeds, they're experiencing, sometimes at some circuits, up to 5G, five times the force of gravity on their bodies. Hello and welcome back to On Track GP, where today we are talking about the importance of down for Formula One. Now, downforce is something that seems to be mentioned more and more and more, and downforce essentially is uh, to keep the Formula One car going very quickly around the corners. The, the cars are uniquely designed to have a front wing and a rear wing. And where an aeroplane is designed to take off at speed, a Formula One car is designed to keep the car as stuck to the ground as it possibly can be at speed. So much so that it's said that if you were to have a very, very long tunnel and drive a Formula One car up and onto the roof, it would stay driving upside down along the ceiling. Now, with the downforce comes G-force. As the drivers are going round those corners at such high speeds, they're experiencing, sometimes at some circuits, up to 5G, five times the force of gravity on their bodies. And that's why Formula One drivers have to be such athletes. You see them so often training the neck and the traps and the, the, the shoulders as well, because they need to be so fit to keep their bodies stiff and, and rigid as they're going round those corners and experiencing those forces. Dirty air is essentially where a car has been driving along and leaves a big disturbance in the air, which then affects the performance of the car behind it, uh, making it more difficult to follow and to overtake. And ground effect dynamics, in theory, mean that the airflow that coming out of the car in front is less uh, disturbing to the car that's behind it, and they're more likely to be able to uh, force an attack overtake. So that is a very brief, very quick rundown of how downforce works in Formula One. And I particularly love that image of an F1 car going upside down on a tunnel. Now, I don't think anyone's tried it because the F1 cars are worth millions and I don't think they'd risk it. But uh, I love that image. It's amazing what the mechanics can do with these cars. So we are on track GP, stick with us. We're gonna be bringing you lots more content in the Formula One world and we'll see you soon.